Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome to my channel. So this is a very different video than normal um, But I just wanted to do a very quick video to show you guys uh, my current Dr. Afra collection um, so spoilers for um, recent Star Wars uh, Content for Book of Boba Fett. So obviously now that we've seen Black Chrysanthemum um, I wanted to show you guys just how much I love Dr. Afra and uh, the sort of collection that I have gathered over the course of the last couple of years. It's been very difficult because obviously she doesn't really have much content. Uh, there's not much merch for her. But I just wanted to show you guys what I have so far anyway. So let's let, let's have a look. Okay, so here is my Dr. Afra shelf in all its glory. I will do close-ups in a second. Um, but yeah, it's not much because obviously we don't have a lot of Dr. Afra merch. But I have tried to get as much as I possibly can and I will show you guys some of it right now. Okay, so first part of my collection, obviously here we have my comic books. I don't have every single one. Um, I've tried to collect the volumes, but I kind of stopped after a while. Um, and I still need to catch up on like the newest series, but I have a lot here. Um, up here I have just like certain, like specific, uh, specific covers because look how beautiful she looks. I also have the, I'm pretty sure this is the Pride, yep, this is the Bounty Hunters uh, Pride specific, or special edition. Um, and of course I had to get that because, you know, she's, she looks wonderful and we support our uh, space lesbian. Um, so here you can see we have the Vader Down comic and when we open it up, look who we have. It's Black Chrysanthemum vs Chewbacca. I very, very recommend very highly recommend this it's very very good um so yeah put that on your list to read and my girl's in it as well so yeah okay and then over here no i had to put her down because uh, she was in the way but i have my black series dr afra i have my black series triple zero and my black series bt now these literally gave me a heart attack when they got announced because we didn't have any figures for her i never thought we would um so having these in my life was probably the best thing to ever happen to me. Um, I was so, so excited. Um, now back here we have the um, the Kenner Star Wars Dr. Aphra figure and she looks absolutely beautiful. And then here we have a beautiful set. I'm sorry, the lighting is terrible. Okay, this is a bit better. Apologies for any dust, but um, yeah, here we have the uh, Star Wars special action figure set. Dr. Aphra BT and Triple Zero. This was actually... Uh, very kindly uh, given to me by my good friend Sam Whitwer. Um, I did have the them out of the box, which it's not going to focus on. Um, um, and obviously, you know, out of the box isn't as special as being in the box. So I managed to get these out of box and then uh, Sam managed to help me get the inbox one because it was really, really difficult to find, honestly. But I am very, very thankful and very honored that I have that I have all of these figures, honestly. Um, because they're all absolutely beautiful and I will never ever let any of them go. Okay, so over here we have two very wonderful, uh, Star Wars busts by Gentle Giant. Um, now I have the certificates of authenticity here because there was only a certain number made. My triple zero is 381 out of 500. And my Dr. Aphra is 860 out of 1500 and... Oh my god, they are so beautiful. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Um, so yeah, I have these little authenticity cards. Um, so I'm very, very glad that these are a thing. Um, yeah. And then back here we have the Dr. Aphra book, which is... Uh, it's basically the script from the Dr. Aphra audiobook. Um, and that is absolutely wonderful by Sarah Kuhn. Um, I very highly recommend you read the book or you check out the audiobook or both. You know, you gotta get both in. Um, it is very, very wonderful. And hearing Dr. Afra with a voice for the first time was absolutely incredible. Uh, Emily Wuzeller did an absolutely perfect, perfect job. And I am so very thankful that we got that. Then over here, I have my Dr. Afra bear, which is a little bit dusty, but I got her off Etsy. Uh, I can't remember the store. Uh, if I can find it, I'll link it down below. But, um, yeah, she's very cute. I also have this very beautiful piece of artwork. I... We'll link the Etsy name once again down below if I can find it. I also have this absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal piece uh, by Ashley Witter, who is a Dr. Afra artist. 
Um, I was so stunned to be able to buy this piece. Um, and it's just beautiful. I did have it in a frame, but my stupid ass dropped it pretty recently while I was actually putting up my shelves. I dropped it pretty recently and the glass on the frame smashed, so I need to get a new frame. But the, the art is okay, it's fine, it's safe, and that's all that matters. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked my collection. Um, and I hope to have many, many more in the future. I'm hoping for a black chrysanthemum figure. Maybe a couple of them, you know, just, just a couple. Um, so yeah, peace. May the force be with you.